he gave even the fans watching from the jungle a movie to see where it was packed for a Sunday start. Trey shoving with the strikeout. Riley Johnson did have a home run, getting the fans to clap. But something about this Colby Wallace hit, tight roping down the right field line. He has stepped up and stepped in for Jacob Starling during his injury, watching him go through second base, finding his way to third for the big time triple, firing up the fans. As Trey would finish this game with 12 strikeouts, holding the 49ers hitless for ECU's second time this week in a combined no hitter 11 to nothing, where everyone knows his future is bright, but Trey is focused on being a team player. I mean, I come in here with the mindset to help the Pirates win. Um, I've said it many times. I know if I go out there and play the way that I'm, I know I can play, then everything at the end of the season will take care of itself. But right now, I'm, I'm playing for my brothers, um, everyone with the Pirates across the chest. Pirates will go for the series win tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Sticking with shutouts, Dave Nathan decided 10 runs wasn't enough for the Tar Heels late as UNC takes care of Notre Dame 13 to nothing in round one. We'll go for the series win tomorrow. And fresh off five straight losses at number two Clemson, NC State pulls off a huge upset with AMAC getting some separation on the lead to eventually win this one 11 to eight on the Tigers. And Wake Forest Seaver King is just going to tattoo this ball with no remorse in the left field for his 11th home run of the season. Just a king doing King stuff as the Deeks get the win at Boston College in Chestnut Hill 13 to 1. Now ECU has their spring game tomorrow and back in town to watch is former Pirate and West Craven grad Justin Hardy who hung out with some other Pirate greats at the Social Vodka in Kinston. Justin getting ready for his third season in the CAFL with the Ottawa Red Blacks fresh off a 1,000 yard season. Man, it means the world to me, you know, uh, I wouldn't be in this position without you no know, support from everybody in East North Carolina, everywhere that are uh, fans of me, so I definitely come in, I thank you for, you know, the support that everybody gives me to be able to come back and uh, get back like this. The scrimmage is at 1 o'clock tomorrow as he's just having fun with some old buddies. All right, over on the ice, Hurricanes finishing up their final three regular season games before the playoffs. Tonight was in St. Louis where after two ties from a Martinook and Jarvis lead, Canes would take a 3-2 lead. And after two empty netters scored by Jake Gunsel in the third period, the Canes get the win 5-2. All right, over on the dirt, Cooper Webb and the Supercross Tour starts back up after a Saturday off this past weekend. The Newport native and West Carteret Greg snagged a win in Seattle a few weeks ago and currently sits at second overall with 236 points in the 450XX. Having some spare time ahead of round 13 tomorrow in Foxborough, Coop reflected on his journey up to this point. To even have the success that I've had now, I got to look back and, and pinch myself a lot. But I do it at the highest level now. But at the end of the day, I still love riding my dirt bike. It's one of those things that, man, it's once you win, you, you never want to get away from that feeling. The race starts at 6.30 tomorrow at Gillette Stadium in Massachusetts. And a reminder for tomorrow, Dale Earnhardt Jr. is headlining the Z-Max Cars Tour at the New River All-American Speedway in Jacksonville. It's the first race Jr. will take part in. And we will see if the two-time Daytona 500 champion still has some magic left in his Sundrop number three car. All right, that will do it for Sports Tonight. For News 12, I'm Luke Schwartz, and that's tonight's edition of Sports with Schwartz.